I'm going to go ahead and make a video about Prime Inc. I've been working for Prime for about six months now. Well, not about, four or six months now. And I've been dabbling with thinking about, you know, doing some stuff on YouTube and pass the time. So I figured let's give it a shot. I'm going to start with going to orientation. Give you my thoughts on that. It, uh, it was pretty pretty simple. I, I actually did a lot of research on what company to go, go to, and I found a lot of good things said about Prime. I called a recruiter. I actually was watching a lot of the uh, a lot of the YouTube trainers from Prime, and one in particular, Junior Honduras. You know, you'd always say call Nikki Yost. And then there was, uh, oh, what is her name? Andra Mueller, I believe. Um, LaShawn Parks in the older videos would interview and, you know, to say to call her. Well, I must say, I tried calling both of them, left several messages over, you know, a couple month period because I wasn't really ready to go. Never got a call back from either one of them. So I was emailing back and forth to Junior Hunters with questions and whatnot, and I told him, you know, Nikki never called me back, so he, well, get on the Facebook page and, you know, ask your question there, she'll answer it. Well, I don't want to ask a question, I want to work for Prime, but anyways, I signed up to that Facebook page, and you had to be approved or whatever, and I don't think... I, I don't think I was ever approved. I never got a reply back to uh, join the page. And if I did, I never got an answer back to my question. I don't remember. It was, this is now about a year ago. So I ended up just going with whatever recruiter answered the phone. She's pretty cool. Like almost everybody in Prime, she was misinformed and, you know, don't know all the ins and outs and rules and whatnot of Prime. Um, that's one thing you'll find is nobody at Prime seems to 100% know, I don't want to say what they're doing, but what they're doing. She sat and told me, you know, you can't get, if you're going solo, you, you got to drive a lightweight. Which I was like, no, I'm not doing that. You're not locking me in a little coffin like that. So, that right there stopped me. Well, first we talked about, you know, going to orientation and whatnot. She was, you know, you go in for a couple of weeks. So you go in for a week of orientation and then you'll go out for a couple of weeks with a trainer, get your CDL, go out for 30,000 miles and, you know, get upgraded to your own truck. Okay, well, I was getting ready to move. I was going to be moving right in the middle of all that, so I asked her, um, is there any way that I can take a couple of days home time uh, after I uh, do my PSD? No, it was, it was yeah, after I upgrade. Um, no, we don't want you taking any time off because we want everything to be fresh in your mind. Um, there's going to be no time off during all your training. It's going to be straight. Okay, it is what it is. Then she said, you know, I asked about the truck and she said, no, you got to drive a lightweight. So I was like, no, not going to Prime. And that was the end of that. Um, I was actually going to go to night. And, uh, you know, I was buying a house in Missouri. So it's like, no, you know, Prime would be perfect. I'm about 30 miles from the terminal. So I emailed Junior Honduras and he's like, no, nah, you know, that's not right. Uh, um, uh, tell him that you're going to, you know, have your wife with you or whatnot. So I called back and really didn't get anywhere with that. Uh, I think her name was Julie. She ended up transferring me to leasing. And, uh, cause 
oh, she kept telling me, well, if you're going to do that, you got to go lease. So she transferred me to Lisa, who handles the trucks for company drivers also. And I asked her, I said, hey, I'm going to be a company driver, but I don't want a lightweight truck. She said, that's fine. Just tell them that when you're getting your truck. It's like, are you kidding me? You know, why don't you let the recruiters know this? Um, so I went ahead and uh, about a month later, I called back and set up to go out to I wanted to go to Springfield because during my during my uh, training, I was going to end up moving to Springfield, or my wife and daughter was going to move us to Springfield because they weren't going to let me leave. Well, she talked me out of that. She said, "No, go to Salt Lake City." Yada yada yada. So I went to Salt Lake City. Once there, the first thing they tell you is how they have no trainers for as many students as they have in that they're going to, uh, you're going to have to, um, the majority of us are going to have to do training right there at the facility, which was kind of a bummer because I really wanted to get real world uh, driving experience before I took the test. So after, I think I was there for about, I did the week of orientation. And then once the actual training started, I was there like a day and I got a trainer. Um, which was really cool. I'll start, uh, I'll start my PSD, which is Prime Student Driver. That's what they call the initial training before you have your CDL. I'll tell you that story on my next video. My training story is super interesting and it will let you, give you some ideas what to uh, watch for when you're going through the training process. Anyways, if you'd like this video, I'd appreciate it. I'm just starting this channel. Um, so I'll see what happens with it. I'm just starting my trucking journey. I've uh, been doing this for six months and Again, uh, this will be another video, but when I went and upgraded to a solo driver, I knew absolutely nothing other than point the truck in the direction of the GPS. And when you run out of hours, wake me up. This was my trainer. Wake me up and I'll take over. Yeah, my story is really interesting. We'll talk to you soon.